<coughs> Ciao a tutti! Siamo tornati a risolvere le confine di Europa. Guarda quanto sono elegante! Perché sono in ghiata e gravata! Parlo in Italia, non è parlo di Europa! Il candilente è il gatto! Thank you, Google Translate! Fixing the European borders! Uh, we're gonna go from east to west here, and as you can see, we're starting right off with a bang in uh, the Russo-Ukrainian war that's going on right now. So, I mean, let's let's think about it. So, Russia took over these territories from Ukraine, right? So, I mean, think about it. What are Russia and Ukraine's goals for the war? Ukraine's goal is to take back the occupied territory that Russia controls, while Russia's goal is to take over the rest of Ukraine that they do not currently control. So, in order to compromise... She didn't have to Perfect! Now Ukraine has their occupied territories back while Russia controls the rest of Ukraine. I mean, you have to admit, this will end the war. Although I gotta admit, Russia definitely got the much better peace deal. Because, uh, yeah, they have a lot more land. But since Russia has all this new land, I think we need to nerf them a little bit. So, I think we should expand Moldova. That Moldova is literally so close to the coastline here. But all they have is this little river going to this bay, which then goes through a strait and out across these islands to the Black Sea. So I think, because this area of Ukraine is basically entirely cut off, they should just give it to Moldova. Perfect! We have big Romania. Big Moldova. And of course, Moldova will reunite with Romania because, you know, Moldova and Romania are very, very, very similar in many different aspects. So, if we just remove this border too. Big Romania. Now I think, uh, Belarus. Belarus. What do I want them to do? I think Belarus, I think they'll probably enter into some kind of personal union with Russia. I guess I could use that. Also, I should get rid of the, the Russo-Ukraine border. So Georgia already has, well, Georgia, but I think... I'm going to have Georgia unite with uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia to form the Caucasian Union. There we go. Georgia now has a decent bit of uh, of a union here already. But I think they should go a bit further and support rebels in Chechnya. It's a part of Russia. a large portion of the uh, North Caucasus as well. Okay, Greece. Greece is a huge country. <laughs> Just kidding. Greece looks teensy tiny. Look at Greece. It's tiny. It's tiny Greece. I think it's Greece's time to... Come back on the world stage! 
Last time there was a major world war, they got invaded through Albania. So I think it would be vital for their national defense if Italy does not gain holds on it ever again. Not to mention, Bulgaria was also a part of that whole Axis thing. And you know, just in case maybe they come back, they should take over Bulgaria too. You know? <coughs> now, Greece also has quite a few disputes. They used to have a big dispute with North Macedonia over... because they have a region called Macedonia. Greece should just go and take North Macedonia. Then they don't have to worry about what their Macedonias are called, okay? They're probably going to be big, big trading partners with Georgia over here in the, in the Black Sea, so I think it'd be nice if they had a land border, so, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying Greece might just march on Istanbul again. I'm just saying. Now, Greece doesn't recognize Kosovo, and I think that they probably also wouldn't like it to fall into Serbian hands. So I think Greece can solve that problem by annexing both of them. And just like that, the Byzantine Empire has been restored. Long live Greece. Greek food will reign supreme, it looks like. All right, the Baltic countries. Honestly, I don't really know that much about the Baltic countries other than Estonia really wants to join Finland for some reason. And I think I know how they can do that. We get our eraser on the big size today because we're going to be bringing back the good old Kalmar Union. Then we just uh, give them a little bit of Russian things. Which, you know, isn't too big a deal, you know. You know, Russia has, you, you know, you know, just, just, just Russia's second largest city and a major port on the Baltic Sea. Yeah, n nothing crazy. Russia has this new port on the Black Sea, so we have to have to compensate them by getting rid of this port on the, the Baltic. That up. Nice. So they got a they got a nice empire there. And now let's look at Lithuania. So we can you know they they should expand into into the Baltic countries. You know Baltic and Nordic are not not super super different. You know since Russia doesn't have a port on the Baltic Sea anymore. There's no reason for them to have this little exclave here, and honestly, I just forgot it was Russian, so I'm gonna give it to Poland. Does anybody else think it would look real nice if Poland just took this over? Now, I also think Denmark should expand a little bit. Take all this. And the reason for that is, look, look, it's, it's a peninsula still. But Germany should be a continental power. So next we have the uh, the Western colonial powers here. We have we have France, Britain, uh, Italy, Germany. Who else had major colonies? Spain had a few. Portugal had a, a, a few. As but what the European powers did to their colonies was um, they made a lot of straight lines. Like, look, look over here, especially in Africa. Like, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look, I just made a new African country. I'm calling it Beakerovia. <laughs> so, I think especially France and Britain, they were the ones that used the lines the most. So I think they're gonna have to get a little bit of payback. A bit of colonial comeback, as I call it. Africa with the squiggly borders, Europe with the straight lines. 
Oh, and while we're at it, let's just unite Northern Ireland with the rest of Ireland. Uh, I, I think that, that's fairly standard, you know? Oh, but we're not done with the UK and France just yet. Um, I think, first of all, we gotta split off, you know, the kingdoms, the UK, you know. You know, Scotland, England. I would have said Northern Ireland, but that's already gone. <clears throat> and and I, I think I kind of know what I want to do with these. So, um, Scotland here. I think I'm going to have Scotland join the Nordic Baltic Union. Nice. And then Wales here. Perfecto! Now you might be wondering, why did I sink whales under the water? Well... Yes, Wales has become a, a whale sanctuary. <laughs> Great job, okay? I'm proud of myself for that one. Of course, England and France do have colonies across the world, but we'll deal with them in their respective episodes. So, since, you know, we have, we have San Marino, and we have, we have the Vatican City, um, in these, these two areas of Italy, <coughs> maybe the two nations should build a railway connecting to each other. You know, it's a encourage trade between the two nations and stuff. I think there should be a third Italian microstate, Venice. Yeah, just have have a little bit of a little bit of boom. We now have a new independent Venetian Republic. So Venice now goes on a rampage annexing uh, a lot of Croatia's coastline right here. They also take over this area from the, the new Byzantine Empire. Also this area of southern Italy can go to them as well. They can also take over Cyprus. Now they got a nice, like, entry. Oh, also, for Italy itself, I think that they should finally create that land bridge to Sicily. Um, perfecto. Now they're no longer kicking the boot. They are part of the boot. Why stop at Sicily? No, 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 no. They have another island. And, uh... Yeah! Yeah, you know, you know, you know... You no, know, why not? Why not, right? Actually, you know what? They should be taken over by Italy because... Oh, look. Look. France has to go diagonal to get to it. And they're being blocked by Monaco a little bit. Italy is right there. And, I mean... Since they already have... Sardinia in the system. You might as well add Corsica to it, right? You know? Spain and Portugal, they would look so good united, let's be honest. Oh yeah, that looks so clean, bro. I think it looks good from a perspective of land reclamation, I guess. And there's nobody with better land reclamation than the Dutch. So I think the Dutch are going to go on some major land reclamation, of course. But how much we give them? Oh my god! Is that, uh, reasonable? I'd say that's pretty reasonable. If, 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 if you look at that for the Netherlands. They'll also take over Flanders, the uh, Dutch-speaking part of the Netherlands, or of Belgium. That's around there. I don't, I don't want to go and 
and, and look it up right now, but that's roughly where it is. And honestly, let's just unite the rest of Croatia, Slovenia, and Bosnia because it would look so good. I'm pretty sure this is actually the Sir Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. Minus this. Like what they actually control in real life. Alright, that uh, about wraps it up. I'm going to fill this in later. So, uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And check out me fixing the U.S. State Spores if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Bye.